Welcome everybody, SF Live. This is a breaking news special during which we talk about the latest of the companies. Defiant Silver is joining us. Doc Cavey, VP Corp Development of the company and also head honcho on the ground in Mexico. Like he's El Jefe personally there. I got I got to witness it myself. Um, but uh, he, 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 fantastic guy. You, you need to, you'll meet him in a second. But uh, if you haven't seen any of our previous videos. But I uh, just wanted to explain real quick, breaking news special, because there has been some confusion. This is about news the company's put out. And uh, breaking news, we call it because it came out today or within a few mere, mere, mere few hours of, uh, of us taping or going live here with the conversation. That's why the breaking news. And uh, enough, I've said way too much already. Let me switch over to my guest. And uh, Doug, it is great to see you. It's been a long day on my end. Uh, I know it's been definitely a long day on your end as well, because with results like that today, uh, I'm sure the phone's been ringing off the hook. Good to see you. Likewise. Likewise. First Neo 2.0 in the making. I I'm pretty sure, like, I, I got to witness it on the ground. Like, I got to see second takers in the project in person last, uh, it was November. Uh, and I'm really excited to see the first results come out now. Why don't you give us the highlights of the program and tell us what, uh, what, what do they mean to you? Certainly, yes. Well, uh, I appreciate the vote of confidence. Uh, it's still very early days. Um, Fresno, of course, is the world's largest primary silver mine, and it's our one of our next door neighbors. So if we can get there, if we could be anywhere near that, of course, it'll be a uh, spectacular success for us. But these are the first holes into the Lucita property, and uh, we we're very happy with the results showing we do have uh, some very high grade and, uh, well, quite a, quite a big vein system, um, and particularly just showing multiple veins, multiple holes, a lot of holes returning veins, some mineralized, some not, not totally atypical in an epithermal system. Uh, but when we did hit, uh, hit the structures a little bit deeper um, and use the uh, drill to kind of chase some geology, uh, it did come back with, uh, of course, up to three kilograms on silver, which was uh, a surprise, I guess, for us because we weren't seeing that great at surface. And it's really, uh, uh, you want to call me the jefe, I think uh, I'm more like the, uh, the chief uh, cook and bottle washer here it's the really the team the team that's down here who you met that uh, really really pushed this forward and, and the work that was being done that you were uh, fortunate to be able to witness I'm with. Uh, absolutely i got to witness uh, uh, meet jennifer down there as well and uh, you know don't want to put her in your shadow as well like you guys are a fantastic team so um but but since i get to talk to you on these interviews the whole time that's why i was like ah he, he's the, he's the boss locally right um Run us through like the, the, the results. Like, you, of course, like there were some surprises, positive, like over three kilos um, in certain intervals. But uh, how many holes have you put out now, and uh, what is still in the lab, and like how does it overall fit in the overall exploration strategy? So when we, I mean, just stepping back with with this chunk of ground and why it was really important for us was um, in the early 2000s or 2006, 2000 to 2012, Mag uh, Silver had recognized the potential in this district for uh, Fresno lookalike. It's very similar crustal position, has uh, very similar geochemical affinities at surface or geochemical signatures at surface. Um, and they put together an extensive database. We actually have that database. We purchased it from them in 2018. And they did a lot of drilling in the area, but the the one piece of ground that never saw any uh, drilling by Mag Silver was this Lucita license that Pan American had uh, had in their in their in their portfolio. Uh, we were fortunate to be able to sign an option agreement with them, and and we just put it through the same uh, linear process. You know, not getting ahead of ourselves, but uh, drilling targets that we had worked up and thought were you know pretty high quality targets. So alongside this uh, drilling campaign, which was very much a first pass drilling campaign, a lot of wide step outs, just testing systems, testing different kinds of structures at surface. You know, is it, is it the veins that run great at surface that are running great at depth? Or is it uh, things that have had more of a hydrothermal evolution to them that are running great at depth? And just trying to get our eyes into that part of the system. Oh, well, in parallel, as you spent time in the field with the, the mapping team, in parallel, having the team out uh, just mapping extensively finding you know what's what's a productive structure what's not and then we'll rank those accordingly um so we put uh, 4700 meters of drilling across the uh, across the palenque san pasqual but el palenque vein system and we got five holes back from lucita two holes back from taures which is another vein that's just to the south of palenque and then we have another uh, eight holes i believe in the lab Enough, right? We have another eight <laughs> holes that are uh, pending in the lab, and that's further to the east. Again, just kind of stepping along the system. 
Fantastic. When do you expect those results back? Because it has been a while. I was on I was on site in November and you were just drilling. I think you were just finished with hole one, if I'm not mistaken. That's so right. uh, it, it's been a while, right? Uh, Christmas, of course, slowed things down as well. And uh, Omicron didn't help anybody either. But uh, like, where are we at right now? What, what do you see? Well, yeah, actually, you were on site. Maybe you were the uh, Midas touch because that first hole came back with uh, over a kilogram per ton, but three meters of 700 grams. So showing. <laughs> maybe we should come back. Uh, maybe there's, uh, you know, there's, there's still some width that, that wasn't what, you know, it's, it's really hard to predict with these things, how these veins are going to perform at depth. They hit different stratigraphic units or ge different geological units. And then they sometimes you know, have higher grade or lower grade. It's really hard to, it's really hard to put that together to surface. We need that 3d aspect to it. Um, we, we get pretty quick turnarounds here because there is a prep facility in Zacatecas. So we were starting to see some of these results as we were planning some of the other holes. And so we were able to say, okay, you know what, maybe this unit isn't one, even though it's it's got a good signature. Or maybe, you know, that, that might not be what we're looking for right now. And then taking knowledge about other districts in Mexico, there's a lot of repeat performers, we'll say, with uh, with the uh, signatures and surface and characteristics of the surface and what you want for it. Yep. Um, but we probably we'll start seeing results come back. I know there's stuff trickles in as it, as, it, as it does, and we really have no control, but we do jump the pace or jump the line uh, by using the prep facility here. And then they mail the pulps to, Zach, or to Vancouver, and then we just go right into the line for assay on prep. And uh, there are a lot of drill programs going on in Mexico right now. I know we were up against the guys at Tom Bizla who are trying to get their resource estimate off the line, and they put out a really nice paper as well. Um, and that was a hundred plus thousand years of drilling facility so there is you know there's stuff coming in and we're getting into that more you know buoyant market where there are com more companies following up on their financings with drilling and uh, drilling and and so that that slowed things down three week christmas break of course slowed things down but um if if it's uh guidance you know from the time that we submit the last hole which was about four almost, almost four weeks ago three weeks ago um usually six to eight weeks we're getting a turnaround on that and we are seeing stuff trickle in um we do a uh, Pretty extensive QAQC as well, so it takes a bit of time that we have to just make sure that the results. Are no, fantastic, awesome. No, Doug, like first results were quite encouraging. Really looking forward to seeing more come out and your thesis be really being fully tested and confirmed. I hope as well. So, because uh, because I stood on the project and I have to tell you, if if your mountain if your hill is not mineralized, you got the only mineral unmineralized hill in in the whole of second take. Is I'm pretty sure of that. So, um, yes. I mean, it's this camp is remarkable. Um, you know, Fresnio, which is the world's largest silver mining uh, complex, it's 40 kilometers. You know, we could see it basically from from the Lucita property um, that ran out of ore in the 1960s. They did what we're doing now. And nobody's really done that in Zacatec. So there's been a few, a handful of companies and those who have done it have had remarkable success. Just take a look at what um, uh, Capstone has done with Pozamine Mine. Uh, they're you know, they're building a new mill facility. They're building a new tailings facility. They'll double production. We, we think they'll double production soon um, whenever that uh, that infrastructure investment finished. Um, but up until the 1960s, this district had more silver than the Fresno district. Um, and then Fresno found San Nino. And of course, uh, Peg Silver found Juan Escipio, which will become the world's largest primary silver mine. That Juan Escipio discovery was a, a, a drill and build discovery. It was the first holes into that were in 2003. Uh, they were thin but there was gray they were just showing that these you know they're continuous and, and if you follow these productive structures there is a uh, there's certainly a, a a reward or a light at the end of the tunnel and you're rewarded for those efforts but it takes time to to identify those those structures and you don't want to get ahead of yourself because then you lose the comp both your geology geological team because you're filling duds but also your investors because you're wasting money and filling duds and so uh, we just you know we had to work it in a in a pragmatic fashion and uh, like you say it, it is a it is a when you when you walk around here and you look around the district there's pits and holes and shafts and ev everything seems to have a vein on it that someone scraping around and so it's about you know getting a good land position and then figuring out where you are in the mineral system and then testing it and so it takes a bit of time and uh, and that's what uh, I think that you're seeing that with this with this project because we got an option on this in December 2020 so it was a a year and a bit to to get a drill on it. Fantastic. Doug, thanks so much for the update. Can't wait to see more results from Lucita, obviously, or from the from the from the drilling. And uh, yeah, thanks so much for joining us and uh, good luck. And I know it's going to be probably a longer day with uh, you fielding quite a few more calls. Hope so. Anybody who wants to get in touch, please, uh, please reach out. Do, we, do we need to add your phone number as well? Or is that? <laughs> <add> that? <laughs> 
<laughs> we, you've got you've got my number, Kai. You just anybody who wants to get in touch, just phone Kai directly. I'll put his number up on the screen. Okay, perfect. Uh, yeah, but, uh, please reach out if anybody has any questions. Happy to happy to read them and happy to walk them through what we're doing and what our plans are moving forward. Fantastic. Now I'm slightly scared of the YouTube bots that pick up everything that's on there. So <laughs> appreciate it, Doug. Thank you so much, and uh, we'll we'll chat soon. And uh, everybody well, else. Much, Everybody else, thank you so much for tuning in. This was an SF Live breaking news special. We caught up with Duck KV of Defiant Silver. They put out the first results from Osita. Quite encouraging. It seems to be confer confirming their thesis. Uh, lot, lots more pending, so let, let's stay tuned for that. But I'm personally quite excited. Can't wait to see more. Uh, I've done a side visit video actually uh, in, in November. Actually, we published it just in February, not, not too long ago. So make sure to check that out here on our channel. And uh, of course, leave a comment and leave a like. And uh, really appreciate you tuning in. Thank you so much.